No, you better shut that down, because Lord have mercy, man. They might have an issue with that. Anyway, this is what I start off to, with every day. Not complaining, not hating, just stating. Here I am. Just my normal day. Yeah. Turn the batteries off. It's 39 degrees in here. You know what I hate about winter? This is what I hate about winter. And we're what? I don't know. Less than less than 20 degrees outside, but we ain't got jack for snow. We got what? One snow and we are there. One snow and we're there. And we got another one here. Yeah, I know I didn't need it. Okay. That's good to know. Um You know, yeah, I got some bitching to do, kinda. Not that much. It cracks me up. People. I see these people going down the road and they come up to a four-way stop sign. And I call them floaters because they don't stop, man. They, they, I don't even think they break. They just float through like, really? I don't know. I don't need a ticket like that. But hey, let them do whatever they got to do. And I'm thinking Muskegon is like the cannabis capital of the fucking world, dude. Because it's recreational and municipal and it's great for everybody. But I'm not lying. And Muskegon... Township alone, I bet you there is 15 cannabis shops in this town. And it's weird, they always paint them gray and black. But wait, whatever. So that's all you ever smell is fucking weed around here. But hey, it tastes your own, I'm not, uh, whatever, man. Whatever. But this cracks me up. Seen a lady in this, I think it was a lady. <laughs> There's a CTS caddy, it was a newer one with the LEDs in the front, lights. There's nobody else in the car. Driving slow, I'm waiting for her so I can get out of the gas station, and she got a mask on. I mean, hello, uh, but there's no one in the car. The windows are up. Um, I don't know. It's not really a ramp, but I, I know I'm a whack case, but really? Anyway, let's roll. See what's going on. What I've been doing. Oh, well, there's lunch. Two Dr. Peppers with cream soda and two hot pockets and a lot of cigarettes. And waiting for the fire to use I can get it warmed up. No, I can't not warmed up. I'm sorry, that's a lie. I can get it to turn on with the thermostat in about 10 minutes. Usually this video ain't gonna be that long. Where are we at? Shoot, wow. Um it's right there, okay. So this is what I've been doing, because I don't know what my problem is. I got a lot of problems. I got too many projects, I'll tell you that right now. Way too many projects. You know, you, are you guys like me where you think that once you get to be able to work on something that you want to work on and once you work on it, life is going to be good? Well, I think that, but it doesn't work that way. But anyway, because I get sidetracked maybe a little bit. So we got the tag board. This is a... Uh, <laughs> 2011 Polaris Rush 800 one owner 3,000 miles um, I needed it for a backup sled because the other sled was in the shop and the guy didn't fix it right and we're just going to move on because that does it leaves a nasty taste in our mouth so we're not even going to bitch today um, so I had graphics on it and I put I made these graphics out of a we ordered this off the internet it's a tailgate graphic and then you got to make all these templates and it takes you like a day you wouldn't think it would take you a day but it took me a day then I made some uh, gator shot covers and a brush guard so when I hit stuff yeah when I hit stuff because pretty much known to hit stuff because I drive um I don't know how I drive I just I don't drive that my dad would say I don't drive that nice so this is what you start out with, and this is this is pretty lame, some low quality stuff you get from um, China, to tell you the truth. Um, so I bought two of them, the reason it's low budget is because, oh wow we got air pockets in this shit, wow, wow, That's, and you wonder why you get negative feedback. If a person does me right and sends me what I'm supposed to get, I give them the appropriate feedback, which is good. 
if they fucking take up forever to fucking shit my shit, like, here's a rant. You pay for something on, say, February 10th, and they send you a, uh, a tracking number. Yeah, it's for a label that you made, and then I, they don't even actually drop it off to the post office till the 19th. That's nine fucking days before they get off their fucking ass to send your item. Lately, fucking eBay, no, it's not eBay, it's the cockroaches on eBay that are sending you some nonsense. I bought some snake skin for like $108. I'll show you, it's at the shoe, it's at, at home, where the picture of the python is surely not the skin I got. Then, they want to be nasty to me, and I wanted my money back, and they just tell me, well, I'll go take it out with eBay. That's basically telling me, go fuck myself. Okay, that's fine and dandy. So, I have to wait seven days for some reason. If you give them negative feedback, you got to wait seven days. So, after I give them negative feedback, oh, my God, they want to be my friend now. What did you think was going to fucking happen? If you don't send me what is pictured, in the listing, and you send me some nonsense, that person uses the same picture on all her listings of the snake skin. It's not the, and you're not getting that python, you get a different one. It was crappier. Anyway, whoo, so you gotta make all these little templates. And it, it, it takes a, there's a phone I'm happy for you. Um, wow. You know what it is, a telemarketer or something. No, it's somebody that actually calls that their number will probably be blocked. And I don't know why they call, because it only rings once, doesn't leave a message. And what do you get? A, a penny for each person you call in America? Because I don't understand that. But anyway, um, these are my little templates, all these little patterns you have to make. It gets kind of old. And you got to lay them out on here. Um, yeah. And then for my, I've been working on my V-Rod. I'm going to show you the van in a minute. Hello. The V-Rod I've been working on. There's the stuff on my bed for the uh, van. I bought this, uh, I don't know, a year ago? Yeah, it cuts metal and wood and all this other stuff. Did I finally open it? Well, here's another little ramp. Let me turn the light on for you to see, if, see what's going on. You got these little rubber things, right? Oh, that's sweet. Fuck it. Quality control is out of the fucking building. And it's not on the goddamn floor. Because I didn't go from nowhere from here to here. But whatever. It's all beautiful. You get you, you hear that? He's on already. She must know what he's doing a little bit. Anyway, copper. I'm making some copper a accents for the for the V-Rod. Yeah, that's two and a half. That's inch. And that's two inch. And it's pretty rough. I mean, you, you can't expect it to be fabulous because it's, you know, it's copper pipe, you know? What do you expect it to be? It's going to have bruising, so i got to wet sand it out. Well, I shouldn't say wet sand, probably have to start sanding at 320, but hey, I kind of knew that one. So I got, I'm going to get tired of sanding after a while with the DA hand sanding, finger fucking, and all that shit. So she went out and bought one of these little throwaway little models. There you go. There you go. A little Harbor Freight. I don't know where the other one is. I burnt that one off. Oh, there it is. The Leaning Tower Pizza right there. You see that little wheel? It kind of wore out a little bit on the angle. See it? Shh. I even fixed it more than once with fiberglass, but hey, it comes to a point where you got to buy it. Yeah, and can you buy anything in the store anymore? Because you go on the, if you got two dollars, if you got money in your pocket, can you actually buy something in the store? Because I don't find nothing on the shelves. It just, it's, it cracks me up. It just cracks me up. It just cracks me up. Yep. Okay. So, there's all the stuff in storage right there, yeah. That's the van parts, that's a chopper, that's a Grand Prix. That is all my toolboxes. Yeah. I didn't think it's ever gonna need a goddamn warehouse, but I guess when you have cars tore apart, you gotta store them somewhere so they don't get lost. It's not like I only got one car that I tore apart. Hello. Okay, so we got the van. 
The van hasn't been worked on in a year. That's my fault. So I got I do got the dash done. And I got some trim pieces done. I, there's all the trim pieces over there, but okay, so this is all refrigerator. I didn't want no freezer. A little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be, and it doesn't sit next to the wall. Blurry. So that's a gas tank thing. So I'm going to cut into that so I can slam it against the wall. And after you put a bed in here, God, it's blurry. After you put a bed in here, it don't leave you no room. But hey, and then you got a cage right here. Um, whatever. What are you going to do, man? Complain and bitch and piss and moan. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But as I'm working on the sled, I'm just kind of eyeballing the van a little bit because. That's what I think I want to work on. Well, you know, when I start working on that, I'm sure I'll bitch about that, too. I guess I'm just a bitcher, but this is what I notice. Okay, let me see if I can pick this up. I was like, hello. You know how you get a, you know how you get a vehicle, car, motorcycle, whatever the fuck it is, and you, especially a car, and you start looking at it and looking at it, and you're thinking, hell, I didn't see that. I ain't gonna pick up. There, there, somebody did a little something, something here. I'm telling you, everybody now. Somebody did a lot of something, something. Cause you can see a lot of. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of little something, something right here. You can see right, right there. See the light? There you go. There you go. It's winking to you. See how it winks? How you doing? See over here? She's not winking. Hello, how you doing? Whoa, there you go. Hi, right there. Somebody hit a little something, something. Okay, there you go, right there. See that? Yeah, somebody hit a little something, something. Then I started looking. Things you notice is like, what the heck? You ain't gonna be able to see it. There you go, it's got a whole crack in it. Nice. I like it like that. Then you start looking around, it's like, look, I noticed all day, it's like, what the heck? It's got, it does got a, a dent here. Or what? It has a dent here too. Well, sweet. Who doesn't hit stuff? Lord have mercy, people. Lord have mercy. Then I go over here. Of course, these people can't back up. So I hammered it out a little bit and stopped just to get the tail light to fit in, right? Because they had a jerry rig. You see the high spots, low spots. <sighs> anyway, that's what I think I want to work on. After I shave the door handles and put tiger skin and whatever, and we're gonna let this one roll. <coughs> oh yeah. I think I'll complain about everything I want to complain about. You know, I really shouldn't complain because I get to do what I want to do every day. I haven't worked in the factory area for anybody for like ten years, but. On that note, when you don't work for nobody, um, you don't have the capital that you once had when you worked. So that's the trade-off. So you just gotta learn to make stuff on your own or something, something. Now if I hit the million dollar line, would I still customize, fabricate stuff? To a certain extent, I'd hire 13 people to do the rest of the work that I don't wanna do. But anyway. Piece of property. Got that, both ends. Piece of oneself, still trying. Peace on earth, um, the Kremlin. What is Biden gonna do? Biden ain't gonna do nothing. It's, it's pretty sad. What would have Trump done? We put him in check, but hey, that's just my opinion. Piece of corn dog, piece of pizza, piece of pussy. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even puppies like me get a piece of something, motherfucker. Now, could I uh, paint cars for people? Yeah, I have a few people want me to paint. But here's the problem. Just say they pay real good money, which they fucking don't, okay? They don't. They always want more than what they expect. They just do. It's the way it is. So I take that money and say, I don't know, so let's say two to five thousand, whatever. What am I gonna do? Buy something else that I ain't gonna fucking finish because I got all this other stuff tore apart. So that's why I don't paint nobody else's shit because 
I got, I, I can't, I don't want to even name them all. But I got too much stuff to finish. Like, child. Spider, Van, Cadillac, Corvette, Trans Am. Oh, I bought a, a 2004 Blazer on a lift kit on it. Found out that a 2004 two-door Blazer, you can't buy a six-inch lift kit. You can only buy it for a four-door Blazer, which I don't understand. Yes, I know there's two more doors, but the, okay, the frame is longer. I can weld, but now I can't get a, a six-inch lift kit on it. Well, I pretty much want to ball, want a bought it. That's what I wanted was a six inch lift. Why? Because I see all these other trucks running around with big ass lifts and whatever. Five, four, three, two, and one, and I'm done. And I'll come out here tomorrow and do it again because it's what I do, because this stuff's got to get done. I want to get this van done. I want to go on vacation. I want to go to Cali, see my grandbaby again, and visit two people that I know on the way, or it's not on the way, but it's in the vicinity of the area. Maybe life would be better. I don't know, man. Uh, it's hard to get an older. You know, I'm going to be like, what? Once I get all my stuff done, it, it, it ain't going to happen. I'd be like 65. Really? A 65 year old man running around with some alligator skin? on his goddamn van and his chop with fucking spikes all over it and man I didn't think it was a, I, I thought it was gonna be in the 30 about 35 40 I had this shit done but yeah focus on one project don't buy more than what you fucking need just cause you can buy it don't buy it cause goddamn it's gonna create a problem trust me enjoy it and I sure it will